Hey guys, we got ourselves a food packet long range patrol from 1998, packed by the Warnick Company, McAllen, Texas, and it is menu number four, Chicken a la King. And since I just had an awful 1985 Chicken a la King out of a thermostabilized packaged MRE, I was really kind of wanting an actual edible Chicken a la King, and I've only had one once out of a ration cold weather from I believe it was 1990, 91, and it was perfect. And this is 98, so this will be a piece of cake. And um, let's check this thing out. I honestly gotta say, these Long Range Patrol rations from 98, they had the best stuff in them. I mean, they had chocolate covered cookies, oatmeal cookie bars, cornflake cereal bars, granola bars, and that apple cider that's also in Ration Cold Weathers. They were the best. I mean, these, this thing here is like truly a, a nice one. All right, let's check this out. Right off the bat. Oh yeah, and this is one they don't make anymore. You can't really see, well you can. Bran Flake Bar. And then there's instructions on the back. Bran Flake Cereal Bar may be crumbled and rehydrated with a small amount of water. Super cool. orange beverage base powder and it feels like it's still good a lot of times they're not after all these years here's a real gem oatmeal cookie chocolate covered who doesn't love those that's only in a chicken and rice menu nowadays in meal cold weathers that's the only place you can find one candy five feels like M&Ms that's an interesting outer packet to prevent any sort of pinholes. Of course, the main entree. Chicken a la king and noodles, cooked, dehydrated. And it's kind of hard to make out the ingredients list, but do your best there. 12 to 14 ounces of hot water, Oregon freeze dried. 338th day of 1998. 323rd day of 98. 338th day of 98 and you can barely make that out but it says 8274 274th day of 98 the 260th day of 98 and there you go let's get this on a tray all right let's first get the entree opened up so we can add some hot water to it and while that's reconstituting we can start checking out the other stuff thanks back into this no odor at all There you go. It's funny, it's in two bags. Nice. All right, let's add some hot water to that bad boy. Stir this up. We have the mushrooms in there. And I see pimentos and green peppers. This is a really high quality meal. Sure beats <laughs> the uh, thermostabilized counterpart of chicken a la thing. Because that's what that is. This is chicken a la king. There you go. Trap that heat in there. Do it right. See that? Looking good. Now let's check the other stuff out. Oatmeal cookie, chocolate covered. A real classic. Looking just as good as it did. Like. Since 1998 here, however many years ago that is now. Look at that bad boy. Looking glossy and beautiful as the day it was packed. I mean, other than my fingerprints up here. See? Other than that, looking good. That's the best MRE dessert ever, ever made by Natick Food Labs. I don't know why they aren't 
an extremely common dessert still in MREs. They should be in like every other menu. <laughs> Except I guess the guys get tired of them. Okay, bran flake bar. Should it be reconstituted? I don't know. Let's figure that out after we have a bite. Mmm, smells very nice. Smells very pleasant and mild. And smell like almost like a dried milk in there, but it doesn't smell like spoiled dried milk. Check that out. That tastes phenomenal. It's almost buttery. I don't know why they don't make the Bran Flake cereal bar anymore. They make Corn Flake cereal bars still. Put them in food packets for survival general purposes, and that's about all I can think of for that. Yeah. Candy 5. Sure, it's M&M's. Please don't be peanut butter M&M's. Or are these Skittles? Oh, that's even worse. I don't know. I'm not too big on Skittles personally, but... Hey, they're classics. They might be better than they are now. I don't know. Got all that food coloring. 50% of your daily value of vitamin C. 45 grams of sugar. Classic. Yeah, this won't be too bad. Let's see here. They look perfect. Tastes perfect. Tastes like perfectly fresh Skittles. Except they were made in 1998. Beverage based powder, orange fortified. Fortified with B vitamins and stuff, so the pyridazine hydrochloride B6 might have gone rancid by this point. We'll find out. That's always something I'm completely fascinated by because, like, this was supposed to be long term storage food, but stuff like that just didn't. And it does smell a little bit funny. Looks fine. We'll see. really looks like orange juice from here. And as we're stirring that, let's check out the accessory packet, see what's going on with it. This probably has the red packet taster's choice, which like seems to never hold up. Always gets it always gets dry mold. It smells nice. I always love opening up accessory packets and then Mm, that's just something that never gets old. And of course, because it's a long-range patrol ration, you get two toilet papers. Because you're going to be out there and you're going to need it. Especially after eating some chicken a la king. And if I never had a spearmint gum out of an LRP accessory packet from 98 or 2000 or whatever that didn't look oddly oxidized like that. Now, I'm not sure they were still using... And yeah, this, I can tell you just the way it feels doesn't have that nice little crunch to it. Let's check out some dry mold coffee. I'm gonna open it, open it over this. Oh yeah, that for sure. I can see it already. See that? Check out the dry mold. Look at that fuzzy dry mold in there. Get a look at that. I'm not even pulling it out of the pack anymore because you know what? It's something you don't want to breathe in. Like, I don't know. I'm sure you'd be alright if you did. I'm sure I have. Heck, I even read about 10 or 11 years ago somewhere, some guy drank dry mold coffee. Said he got a stomach ache, but it was okay. Talk about an iron stomach. So, that's what's left in the accessory packet. So with that being said, the coffee's no good. I got a good idea on how to utilize this cream substitute. I'll show you right now. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some water to this. We're gonna break it up and add a little water. And then we're gonna add a little creamer to it. I've done this before. It's a great way of utilizing the creamer when the dry mold's no good, you know, hitting uh, your coffee. Now we want to carefully break this up. I don't know if that's possible or not. I'm making a mess everywhere. It's breaking up pretty decent. Sort of. 
Maybe you would have wanted to break it up still in the pack so you don't have this sort of issue. All right, and then this is what I'm gonna do with this, right? We're gonna make a little cereal. And that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get from milk. And let's add the water. See how this goes. Actually, I know how this goes. Nice, look at that. It's like having a little bit of cereal. Except you got like one chunky bit, but other than that, looks good. Mm. And the water's warm still. Check that out, it's like porridge. And it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And that's the way you do that. If your coffee is still good, you have this. You have the coffee black, and you just do this with the creamer. Don't even put creamer in your coffee unless you just can't help yourself to do it. Because this is a better way to utilize this. I mean, this is like super nice. Look at that. I'm telling you, it tastes amazing. It's creamy, buttery, brand flavor. I mean, it's not even brand. What is it? I don't know. It's a creamy, buttery, kind of like porridge cereal flavor. I don't know. And it's amazing. Now let's check out the chicken olive king. This meal really turned out. Oh, well, except for the weird looking orange beverage base. Check that out. It's like cloudy. It's probably the vitamins in it. Hopefully, hopefully it's nothing crazy. That'll lead to my demise. I'll just figure it comes out of a 98. All right, let's take this thing off. Most people don't know what the heck that's for. It's to close up your entree. I think I learned that from BIPA on MRE Info. That's right, from BIPA. Hey BIPA, if you've seen this, hey man. Anyway. Look at that. Perfect cafeteria style chicken a la king. And I can smell it from here, it smells amazing. Check that out, beautiful. Mm. It's creamy. The noodles reconstituted perfectly. The chicken is a nice dark meat, flavorful chicken. Tastes like good, really good quality. And the pimentos and everything, I mean, that is a nice touch. Look at that, chicken a la king. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now let's try out the, uh, the orange drink. How weird that is, it just separates. I don't get it. Like I said, it's gotta be the vitamins. Tastes good. This is a food packet, Long Range Patrol, Chicken a la King, menu number four, 1998, date of production. This is Steve1989 off MREinfo.com. Hope you guys like the video. Hope you get a chance to try out a Chicken a la King from 98 one of these days. It's a real treat, super nice. And um, thanks to all you viewers and subscribers and Thanks to G. Schultz, Gundog, Sticky Fingers, Kiwi Dude, everybody that's inspired me along the way. Everybody off MRE Info, all those guys, you're awesome. Thanks so much for everything. Seriously. Alright, take care. And I'll be back tomorrow, or soon, something else. See ya.